Chanel, back by popular demand. Yeah. Thank you for letting me shoot this. If you aren't familiar, I'm gonna leave a link to the last video we did together in the description box, but Chanel is a makeup artist. Yes, I am. When you do makeup on clients, it's completely different from what you use on your own face, yeah? It is, yes. When I do makeup on clients, it is specific to the lighting, to their skin, to whatever we're shooting, or if it's for an event, or red carpet, so, I usually start with primers and I use products that um, are gentle for their skin, mm -hmm. but effective. But my skin is really sensitive and extremely acne prone. So I use different products on myself. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Do you have your skincare on and everything right now? I, I do have some. Cool, um, cool. I, I saw that in your kit you have sheet masks and everything. I too. do have sheet masks. Yeah. I... I'm always trying to refine what I use on my face because it's really easy to get really excited about everything I'm always seeing, yeah. the things that are always being released, or um, if I, I get new products, I always want to try them on myself, but at the same time, with super sensitive skin, and also being pregnant now, I have to be careful about what I put on my face. I did just get this May Love the Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum, mm -hmm. which is vitam vitamin C E ferulic acid. Do you know how to say that? Ferulic? No. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. And it's for brightening? Yeah, yeah, it's for brightening and I've been liking it and it's inexpensive. I ordered it off their website and I've been happy with that. And then I use a really simple moisturizer uh, again, being pregnant, I can't use any retinols or any active ingredients that are fun and exciting and good for my skin, so I've been keeping it pretty simple. Yeah. But I have always loved this SPF, which I have continued to use because it's still safe for my skin, and it's my shell, and it's in a dropper, and it is tinted. This is the Nude Light Medium. It's a zinc oxide SPF, not a chemical SPF, uh -huh. which is better for the environment and for my body right now um, and I also just really like it because it's sort of mattifying which is good for my skin mm -hmm. the color looks really strange I feel like it looks sort of chalky uh, it's almost like a like BB cream yeah right it is like a BB cream it's oil free I can't use oils which is no fun because there's so many great <laughs> oils out there I use oils on a lot of my clients yeah um, but it does give a nice bit of coverage, and I also feel like the color evens out my redness a bit. And some days if my skin's being really, really friendly, I can get away with mostly this and a little mm. concealer in spots. And then the days that I want more coverage, or if I'm going somewhere, I use this Chantecaille Future Skin, which is... Again, oil-free, it's a gel foundation. Yeah. And it has a lot of really good for you ingredients in it. And it's calming. I'm not crazy about a jar. Because of bacteria? Because of bacteria and because of air exposure and it's messy and it gets all around the lid, which drives me mm, nuts. Yeah. So... Oh, I, you, loved you, it. You, I do that too. Yes, it's the back great. Of the brush. Yeah, the back of the brush, and I put it on the back of my hand so you're not double dipping. I still love a little fluffy brush. Yeah. This one has been my favorite. I use it in my kit as well. Are those techniques? Yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a four bucks on Amazon. Oh, and cool. I use it's the one brush that I kind of grab for everything. It's the airbrush brush. It is. It's yeah. the airbrush brush. It says like it's the that. setting brush, but nah. we call it the airbrush brush. Yeah. You can use it for powders too, yeah? You can. It's really great for powders because you kind of can get more control and just place it more in the T-zone area. Yeah. Just focus. Here, just focused rather than just a big old plat of powder. You yeah. want to keep this area not powdered, you know? Yeah. Usually for uh, like the giant powder brushes, I only use that to blend out foundation to oh, like not get the little streaks. Yeah. But then like when it comes to powdering itself, I use the small little tapered brush, like kind of like that. Right. The one I have is from Elf, and it's like three bucks. Elf has great brushes. Yeah, they do. And 
they're cruelty free if you are vegan. interested in that yeah. vegan yeah super accessible and inexpensive they started selling this at our targets I don't know if that's that uh, real techniques yeah yeah real techniques okay yeah. so it's and Ulta too Ulta got it yeah. yeah do you mark the bottom of your kit for your brushes like you know like uh, a lot of makeup artists will dip it in red paint or something I have seen that. So you, if you're working with other makeup artists, they don't get in confused. Yeah. I need to start doing that because when I work with my assistants, a lot of times I'll throw some of my stuff in their set bag or they'll say, oh, do you have that client's, you know, makeup or skincare? And um, I'll work the next day and wonder where some Everything things is. are. And they'll text me, oh, my God, I forgot to give you this. So I, I should start doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do that in ceramics. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Because yeah. people always... Well, I don't paint it. I just write my initials on everything. Yeah, that's really smart. I did do that in art school, too, though. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the Tarte Shape, shape tape. tape. Yes. Yes. I love it. I used to use the NARS Creamy Concealer, but uh -huh. this has replaced it for me. The range of colors is insane. Yeah. It's... They what have... Is it 40 shades or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. It's, some of them are so incredibly similar. Yeah. It's almost funny. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I use this in my kit as well. And then this color is the Light Neutral 22N. And I use this with the same brush and use it where needed. And you swatch it on the back of your hand, dip into that. Right? Yes, yeah. I do. Cool, I like that method. Yeah. I use the back of my hand a lot. My friend Serene does this thing where every Monday she swaps out all her makeup so that she forces herself to try new products. Oh, wow. Do you usually finish your products all like until the end before adding something new in? On yourself? On myself, yes, probably. Okay, yeah. um, in my kit, it's usually pretty revolving as far as getting new products, and I, I don't like to get them to be too low. Yeah. Um, Things like certain uh, primers and stuff that I use very often. I believe it's a Becca primer. It's called First Light. It's the mm -hmm. purpley one. I use that until it's empty. Certain skincare I use until it's empty. Um, yeah. The, the Chantecaille uh, foundations I'll probably use until they're empty. These I'll probably replace before they're empty because I feel like the applicator gets a little funky and I really care a lot about hygiene even if I'm super aware yeah. of hygiene I just feel like with age you should start to replace things but uh, I don't know if everyone ever knows about this there's there the are container, little yeah. logos so these you have to replace every six months yeah with Tarte they're very natural a lot yeah. of plant based ingredients you should replace them often so yeah. some I, rms too some rms yes i should have replaced a few of these uh, they're, um, coconut oil i think is a little more stable so they say 12 months you should replace. oh i see yeah i actually found that surprising yeah some of the coconut oils you find, yeah but the tart six months so yeah. i should probably keep that in the back of my mind. Yeah, or keep it in a beauty fridge. Oh, yeah, a Have beauty fridge. I would. I wonder if people do that, if they put all their makeup in a makeup bag and stick it in the fridge. Oh, interesting. So I think that's a pretty good base. Yeah. I used my sunscreen. Sunscreen, Chantecaille, shape tape. Chantecaille, shape tape, yes. The sunscreen, I think, is a good primer, too, because it's a bit mattifying. Yeah. It's got this brush, an hourglass brush, <gasps> if you want to just smooth everything out, like you were saying. Yeah, I love that brush. Yeah, you yeah. have it. It works really well for uh, cream products, like yes. cream sticks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's like a little smudger. Yeah. So, the blush I've been using, I'm trying to... as well? Yes, it's a Chantecaille oh, nice. Cheek Jelly Hydrating Gel Cream Blush. Yeah. Uh, again, it's more for my skin because I can't do any fun, creamy things as much as I'd love to put this on my cheek because I just love this color and consistency I would have acne in 12 minutes <laughs> really I think yeah it would just I just am very prone to clogging with oils and heavy yeah ingredients. so this I like for uh for my skin I do think that it 
doesn't have a lot of color playoff, mm -hmm. and it kind of doesn't last that long. I definitely feel like I look pale in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. You can see it just sort of disappears, yeah, and it's not super buildable. So this I do not have in my kit for that reason. Oh, okay. This I, uh, in my kit I have more concentrated cream. Okay. Blushes. What's a, what's one that works really well that's concentrated? Uh, I've been, I just got Juice Beauty. Okay. Yeah, they have these little ones that are really nice. Yeah. Um, and then I'll go over it with a powder of like an hourglass Dim light, those are really pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, glowy, yeah. Yeah. So, see, you can tell it's, like, not wonderful. I like it because it looks natural. It does look natural. Every morning when I go on my run, I put on, like, a cheek stain, kind of, oh, just, yeah, to, just to get it started, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's like... <laughs> like, I can't leave the house because I, like, beat, you know? Oh, but, me too. Uh, yeah, I always do something like that. So that would be perfect for that because it looks like it's from within exactly and it doesn't bother my skin which is the least i can ask for yeah i will now use of course my rms living luminizer which i've had as I far as when we were talking about things you run out of i really love it it yeah, is hello hello Merv. you want to come say hi in. um this is a coconut oil based creamy potentially cloggy thing, but not in the location I use it. Okay. I use it high up here yeah. where I wouldn't break out, and I'll Whoa. bring it back into yeah. here, which reflects light and makes you look more awake. So it's I'll concentrate it here, and then yeah. as it diffuses out, I kind of bring it into here. I and it see. doesn't look like, oh, she put highlighter underneath her eye. It just is a little bit of a subtle reflection. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's it's. A lot of under eye products that are brightening have a little highlight in them, and if I want to keep my makeup bag minimal, I'll just use products that I can use multiple, multiple yeah. ways. So I'll do it on the top of my cheekbones and then just bring it in. Yeah. It's like the why I sold Tisha Claude. Right? Yes, exactly. That's an idea. Yeah. I really love that stuff. I do, too. Have you ever tried the Magic Luminizer? It's, like, a little bit more, I think, more pink tone. Oh, I have not. I have not tried that one. It's nice. It's nice. It's like, uh, you know how Glossier has quartz and then they have um, yes. stone? It's more right. like quartz. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense. This is the new Kosas 10-second eyeshadow. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see this. Yes. This one is an element, which is a really pretty rust color uh -huh. and it really is 10 seconds you just dab it on it's really wet you kind of move it around I should have done one eye at a time because it dries really quickly how long have you been using this for about a week you're like shh I'm concentrating <laughs> wow and it's a really it lasts it's dry now Can I, can yeah I swatch it's on? very inky Inky, and they say. have a bunch of colors, including like blue and a green. And Whoa. Yeah, it's really pretty. The element it's gorgeous. I like. If I want to add like a little bit more dimension, I'll go over with RMS Eye Polish in Solar, <gasps> which is a pretty like goldy. Yeah. I just want to go in the middle. Whoa. Well, hang on. Does the the oil from the coconut oil from the RMS one won't it break down the Kosas? It could. Okay. I don't know yet. What, what, what's your eye like? My eyes are pretty dry. Okay. Yeah. yeah mine so are greasy. These are greasy. Yeah. So this is right really out. great for greasy because it's very yeah. dry. I feel yeah. like I can feel it on the back of my hand. Yes. I feel like this is this is a, a good one for greasy. It doesn't it doesn't crease. Um, it's great. That's a good question about combining these. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. guess I haven't tried them yeah. enough to know. I but always have that problem with the highlighter from RMS, too. So whenever I do use the Living Luminizer, mm -hmm. I have to put it on below, like beneath oh. um, beneath everything, because it just picks up, you know? Like, oh, interesting. It picks up my concealer, it picks up my blush, whatever I put on top of, like, whatever I put after it. Rather than putting it on top and it, like, breaking everything down? It breaks everything down if I put it as the last step. Interesting. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
That's a good idea to put it underneath too, because if if you want to get that touche clot sort of idea where yeah. it's it's highlighting, um, you can do it underneath and it doesn't feel so much like an intense highlight underneath yeah, your eye. Totally. So I love this eyeshadow on you. Yeah, it's really it's really just pretty, and I like to keep it within the family of the colors that I'm using on my face. Yeah. So for brows, I have really loved these Lime Crime brow products. Mm -hmm. This is a pen much like the Glossier Brow Flick. Mm -hmm. I do find that this one's easier to control yeah. because the Brow Flick, you have to use the very, very tip to get a tiny hair, mm -hmm. whereas this one, you can go a little harder and you still get a really thin line. Yeah. Um, I do, I think the Glossier one isn't very user friendly and this one is. Mm -hmm. These also come in a larger range of colors. I think Glossier only has three, like blonde, brown, black. Yeah. These have probably... Redheads and everything Yeah, too, yeah. six or seven, like cools and warms and light, which is much better. So this mm -hmm. is in brownie and I just flick it. Whoa, I see it. Yeah. Well, With crazy. It's like micro bleeding. Of my brow hairs. Well, that's insane. It looks so real. Yeah. I don't go too much. I just kind of film certain areas. What are your thoughts on microblading? I'm down for it. Are you down for it? Yeah, because it's not forever. It's not forever, right? Yeah. My sister had it done, and it just looks amazing on her. Oh, it does. Oh, that's yeah. Great. It's very dimensional. Uh, like you can look at it from every angle and it looks good. I think it's gotten way better over time. Oh, that's good. Like a year ago, if you were to ask me though, I, I wouldn't. It's gotten better. Yeah. Yeah. People use like people have gotten so much better at it because they use different colors. Exactly, rather yeah, than one color. Not just one color. Which yeah. is also great with this. I I did uh, a woman's brows yesterday and I used two or three shades mm -hmm. which I like because with Glossier yeah. you have limitations with the colors yeah yeah it, it, it does feel more realistic that way would you ever get it done no well you have strong brows maybe. well yeah but even if I didn't it sounds like your sister had a really good experience but maybe mm -hmm. the ones I've seen are the older technology mm -hmm. where I feel like they look great um, in photos. In photos because it's two-dimensional, and then mm -hmm. in person it looks super uh, artificial to me. Yeah. Like, I can see the strokes, and they're thick, and yeah, no. I just can't stop staring at them. Yeah. So I would be curious to see, like, really well-done ones. Yeah. I, maybe I have seen really well-done ones, and I haven't you noticed. Tell, yeah. yeah, so... I've seen really bad ones, and I've, I've seen really good, too. Oh, okay. The beauty is that everything fades. Yes, I do like that it fades. Yeah. So this is Whoa, the you? bushy brow, which I like better than boy brow because it I don't have to remove excess product, yeah. and it has that perfect amount of grip. Yeah, it looks like you're really pushing the product on there. It looks, yeah. Right. That's awesome. And it yeah, like, holds. It holds, yeah, and boy brow, I feel like... It only gets good after I've used it for like a few months and then it's at this sweet spot and then it runs out. Uh, and this started out that way. I was using the brow flick though before I got that. And as you can see, these are the little hairs I did from yeah. the uh, the Lime Crime one and the glossy one. You can do small ones, but it's really easy to accidentally do thick ones. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's my problem. I'm still learning that. It's so difficult. And that's the interesting thing about glossy because all of their products are really user friendly. Everyone can throw them on, you yeah. know, just like out the door. And that's the one product I feel like does not. It's hold just up. not hard enough. Huh? It's not hard enough. It's too soft. Anyway. Yeah. Then. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, Stoops. I've been using. <laughs> I've been using uh, this Kevin Alquan Expert mascara. In it looks like a weapon. I know. In Blood Roses, which is like a deep <gasps> purple. It's kind of fun. Look at that one. I know. It's very sexy. What the fuck? It's like a snake. Yeah. I know. It's oh, pretty crazy. I gotta see this. So you use it in deep purple? It's a deep purple. It's called Blood Roses. 
I like it with the sort of blushy eye, yeah. blushy cheek, and then it, it just is a little a little dimension without being black mascara, which yeah. I do like black mascara. I also have green eyes, so it's a little tiny bit of a, a pop. Pop. Whoa, I like that. Yeah. Also, I feel like when your mascara gets runny, there's something about this color that kind of gives you like a cool, sultry, like heroin chic versus yeah, black. Chic. Yeah, there's like a little, like a little bit yeah. of a purple, like residue, mm-hmm. is less terrible like, looking than raccoon eyes. Than raccoon eyes, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Heroin chic. So when you I go on that. your runs in the morning and you get a little bit of raccoon eyes with the purpley. Yeah, I don't even bother with mascara when I go on my runs. I just do. Um, yeah, I just do a, a blush and maybe a little bit of, a, like, a stain on my lips, the same color. I'm really glad you yeah. said that because I can't leave the house without anything on it yeah. at all. It just makes, I mean, you can, but it's just it's, confidence, right? Yes, and then every time you're like, all right, today's going to be the day. I'm just going to do it. I'm yeah. just going to do it. You always run into someone yeah. every time. I fucking every hate time. that. I Ugh. hate it. Yeah. If I had your face, though, it would be a different story. Your oh. skin is beautiful. This is about to die. What? <laughs> this is. Uh, like, wait, hang on. Hold the shape of. They what say is that, that. They yeah. They say that it tells, like, the shape of your lipstick bullet it tells a lot about your character. Yeah. Uh, what that does that mean? Psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> this it's is so short. Um, lipstick queen, and it's Saint Coral, which is, I love corally sore lips. I do the tiniest bit. That's probably why it looks so weird. And then I finish with... You've got really full lips. Thank you. Being pregnant also makes everything a little... Really? Like... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look this Merv. is... She's so cute. This is Merv right here. This is Merv. <laughs> I follow her on Instagram. I'm her big, biggest fan. Yes. Fans. She um, is an influencer. She is, yes. isn't she? As you can tell, she's... She's influencing. Influencing. This uh, lip balm I love. How do you say this? Oleo Yoso, I think. It's a mouthful, right? Yeah. Oleo Yoso? I think so. <laughs> what color is that crimson? This is uh, number eight. Oh, okay. I've never tried anything from that brand. It's the perfect <gasps> corally, isn't it? Wow. Wouldn't you just love to put this on your cheeks? I would love to put this on my cheeks. I have put yeah. it on my eyes. It doesn't last very long. Girl, like... I feel like it wouldn't. Can I see? Yeah. I don't think it will show up on my cheeks. This is yeah, my... Yeah, it's too sheer, see? Yeah. On my skin tone. It is. This is my absolute favorite because it's super hydrating. Mm-hmm. And I love the color. Yeah. And I also really like the applicator. Yeah, it's like a little deodorant stick. Yeah, I just really love it. Also, the taste doesn't it gross really me out. It really pops on your lips. Yeah, I really, really like it. Dang. It's making, now that everything's done, it's making me wish this was just a little bit more... Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. And a little bit more like a burnt, corally sort of brick. Yeah. So I think I'm going to maybe shop around for a new blush, you guys. Shop around for a new blush. Okay, let's see. Something that's not oily. Okay. You like tinted gels? Yeah, tinted gel. Yeah. It has to be natural, too. Yes, Preferably. This is a pressed powder I got from Whole Foods without yeah. any research. I, like, never do that where I walk in somewhere and just buy something. I was pretty desperate. Mineral so. fusion? It's just a mineral fusion that's warm, too. You know, warm I have a too. friend who uses this. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Some days I'll just um, do the SPF and the mineral fusion. Yeah. Just... It's really light. <laughs> Come at me, Whole Foods. Both of those two things. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I try to be as natural as possible, and then the occasional thing where, you know, this is, like, barely touching my skin. So yeah. I mean, maybe these are more natural. They don't look natural because they're purple and pink, so yeah. my brain thinks they're not, but brown makes me think brown it's natural. Brown greens. Brown greens. Yes, yeah. exactly. I get that. I get that. This, I love... It's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Yeah. It looks uh, like the Stilo one, huh? Exactly. I just yeah. really love the tip. It's really easy to control. Is it a felt tip or a brush tip? Brush tip. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. 
And then I always just do the tiniest flick in the corner. Yeah. And then barely line just probably like a third of the top. Oh. Okay. And just bring it out. Oh. Because when I line the whole top of my eye, I feel like closes it closes it up. It up. Yeah. Yes. You know. Oh, I have a. I, I only have one lid on one side of my face, so then I, I have to do that method because yeah. cause then it throws everything off. Right. I feel like very few people can really do like a full-on thick top line. Mm, Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Amy kidding. Winehouse. Up to the <laughs> eyebrow. So, yeah. yeah, I'll just do a little. Dang, you do it without even looking. I mean, because uh, I have to, like, line up my face to the mirror. You probably do it really accurately, and I just eyeball it, and that's probably not as great. Some days it's easier than others. When you have your cat destroying your shoulder, oh, that was beautiful. it's a little more challenging. It makes your lashes really stand out, too. The purple lashes? Yeah, Thank I like you. that. Yeah, it's like a, not too, not too much. And, they also uh, make it in a dark brown, which is really nice with this whole look, you know, yeah. with the kind of burnt corally and the purpley lashes, all those subtle colors. Yeah. So if you didn't want to do just black. black, you could do a dark brown. Do you know if they have like an electric blue? That's a good question. I'm sure they I'd do. Uh, who is it that makes a really great... Which one does this one remind you of again? Stila? I think it was Stila that makes a really good... Electric blue. Electric blue. Yes, I used to have that in my kit. I want to do more Pinterest makeup. Yes. On, on an everyday basis. You would look great. Like the, like, just beautiful skin and electric blue line. Electric blue line. Yes. Glitter eyebrow. A glitter <laughs> just eyebrow. Just throw it together. Just a glitter eyebrow. Yeah. Electric Go blue on. line. <laughs> Go on your run. Well, thank you so much for letting thank me film you. this. Thanks for having me again. So I'm going to leave all of Chanel's info in the down bar. Um, shoot a complicated makeup question yes. in the comment section and I'll have I'll well, ask Chanel to answer. Yay! And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs>